He was six feet, two inches tall when he was eight years old. He's already grown to seven feet, one inch tall by the age of 12. Robert Bobrovsky, AKA Rob Bob, has become an international sensation due to his tremendous height. He currently stands at seven feet, seven inches at 225 pounds. Many basketball enthusiasts once believed that this Hungarian sensation would end up to become the tallest basketball player today. However, Rob Bob has been out from the basketball scene for more than two years. In this video, we're going to discuss Robert Bobrovsky's disappearance in the basketball scene. Bobrovsky was born on July 17, 2000 in the city of Arad, Romania. However, he's of Hungarian descent. His parents are Zygmunt Bobrovsky and Brunhilde Bobrovsky. The height of Robert's father, who used to be a basketball player, is 7 feet and 1 inch. On the other side, his mother has a height of 6 feet and 1 inch and was a handball and volleyball player in her younger years. In addition, Robert's father was on the Romanian men's national basketball team alongside George He Murisan, who holds the record for being the tallest player in NBA history. AS Stella Azura, a basketball team based in Italy that competes at the amateur level, made him an offer to join in the year 2014. The development of NBA power forward Andrea Bargnani has brought the team a great deal of notoriety. Because of his height, he was able to dominate others around him. In Italy, he was an important part of the team that won the national title for players under the age of 15. It didn't take long for videos captured during his games to gain widespread attention online in 2016. In addition to his height, the influence of his abilities was significant. The Romanian big man has improved his passing skills as well as his jump shot from the mid-range. On the court, Bobrovsky struggled due to his lack of muscle bulk, stamina, and quickness, just like the majority of other athletes of his height. Even though he's only had a few minutes of playing time, he made the most of those minutes to display his skills. After playing for AS Stella Azura for two seasons, Bobrovsky enrolled in the preparatory program at the well-known Spire Institute and Academy in Geneva, Ohio in 2016. There, he became a teammate of LaMelo Ball, who is now a point guard for the Charlotte Hornets. This institution's primary focus is on meeting the educational and athletic development requirements of talented athletes who are enrolled in grades high school and higher. In addition, this sports training complex spans 750,000 square feet and is located on a 175-acre property in Geneva. Geneva is located approximately 45 minutes outside of Cleveland. On the 14th of January 2017, after having trained for a period of a year, he made his debut for the Spire Institute. However, despite his overall size, he wasn't able to crack the team's main roster. This is because Rob Bob lacks the muscle, strength, agility, and stamina to compete against the top high school players in the country. After the age of adolescence, when his enormous height advantage was sufficient to allow him relative supremacy, his influence on the court became far too insufficient to envisage him continuing to play at a very high level. This was especially true when compared to younger players. Unfortunately, his career was doomed to fail if he played at the NAIA team, which is the junior varsity equivalent of the NCAA. In his years with Spire Academy, he mainly focuses on the development of his overall muscle mass, agility, and conditioning, allowing him to compete in a high level. He even underwent a 5,000 calorie a day diet just to add some weight. Rob Bob has recognized that in addition to his quickness, his stamina, and his weight, he suffers from a significant health issue. He was found to be suffering from significant symptoms brought on by a scoliosis curve in his spine. This problem has impacted not only the way he plays basketball in general, but also the way he moves in a lateral direction, which might be why they're so slow. It not only causes extreme back pain, but also causes his hips to be severely misaligned. The ache in his back is constant and severe after the epidemic, during which time we had not heard from Rob Bob. He made an appearance on a podcast. He admitted that in order to offset the impact of the severe scoliosis curve, he had extensive back surgery, and he took time off during his junior and senior years in order to focus on his recovery. Because of this, Robert had not communicated with any of us in a very long time, and it was the reason why. It's believed that the procedure gave Rob Bob an additional inch of height, taking him from 7'7 to 7'8 and tying him for the record of the tallest NBA players. Almost everyone who followed his journey to where he is at today almost believed that the basketball career of Rob Bob after high school was over. But one school, Rochester University in Michigan, gave him a chance to play basketball again and approve himself in college basketball. 
He said in that podcast that he's healthy and ready to play. The coach of Rochester University men's basketball, Kilt Pleasant, said, We're excited about welcoming Robert into our program. He's hungry to play and has a desire to work on his strength in hopes of assimilating to the physicality of the college game. His size will be unmatched, and he has a skill set and coordination to build upon. However, we never saw Rob Bob plays in a Rochester University jersey. In the 2020-2021 season, and also the 2021-2022 season, now, people wonder if Rob Bob is really a part of the basketball team. In another podcast with his friends in Rochester University, they talked about everything in college life. Rob Bob was not able to avoid questions regarding his basketball career. He said that if he is indeed a part of the Rochester men's basketball team, however, because of the uncontrolled circumstances, he has a dilemma on whether or not he'll pursue basketball or do something else. And he's thinking more about doing something else. After intense training to hone his skills and rehabilitation programs to fix his back problems, clearly at this point, the basketball career of one of the tallest basketball prospects in recent years might be over. It's unfortunate that his lack of agility, strength conditioning, and health issues that are caused by his tremendous height prevented him to progress as a basketball player. He might have not reached his dream to play in the biggest basketball league in the world, but Rob Bob is a very intelligent teenager and is living the best out of his life outside of the basketball world. He's planning to create his own branding and has now posted a lot of pictures on Instagram, which he had never done before. He's also started growing his YouTube channel and also has his own podcast with his friends at Rochester University called The NovoCast, where they talk about crypto, money, college life, and how's life being a 7 foot 7 inch person. So we might see him in the spotlight soon, but clearly not because of basketball. Being one of the tallest players in the world and exceeding the height of a friend does not necessarily sound like a fantastic accomplishment. As he developed into an adult, Robert needed to go through a lot of distracting thoughts. He describes how he often felt like an outsider and how his experiences were met with laughter, jitters, and wonder from those around him. Being something extraordinary rather than something regular is mentally draining work. In a similar vein, Bob Roxky always had the uncomfortable sensation that others were staring into him. His first instinct was to ignore him, but this strategy was not successful on a consistent basis. On the other hand, when he got older, he discovered teammates that were there for him and accepted him for who he was. On the floor, he laughed and joked with his trainer, Brandon Strasser, and discussed his all-time favorite player, Kristaps Porzingis. Alright guys, so that's it for today's video. If you liked the video, please click the like, share, and subscribe button and hit the notification bell button so you will not miss out on other basketball related videos like this one. What do you think about Rob Bob's career? Could he have done something different that would have altered the course of his career? Will he be successful in his new career now that he's done with basketball? Only time will tell. Leave your thoughts and comments in the comment section down below. Have a good day everyone and I'll see you in the next one.